on you heard the name Trevor Lawrence? Like when you kind of had an idea that he might be something really big? Um, I mean, they leading up to the national championship. I mean, those, you know, they had to win their game prior. And so, you know, we knew of them. And then in that national championship game, that's where really I think he made a statement in who he was as a player um, and just in general. I mean, that was his freshman year too, him coming in in the national championship game, leading his team. And we had a really good Alabama team too. Uh, yeah, this is my first time putting it on. So you like it? Yeah, it's, it feels comfortable. I like it. <laughs> 2019 college football playoff championship. Yeah. Um, what do you remember about that game? And we lost. And how much does it haunt you? That you we lost, brother. Anytime you lose any of those games, they 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 stick with you. And uh, that I wasn't I wasn't happy about that performance. Uh, the way we we came out as a team, offensively especially. But you know it is what it is. You 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 know you learn from all those mistakes and you grow from them. But I, it wasn't a good memory. Oh. Extra motivation of uh, facing up against Trevor on uh, on Sunday? No, because I'm not playing him. He he doesn't play defense. Yeah, so I'm I'm not playing against him. I'm playing against their defense, uh, the scheme that uh, you know their guy has for them, and you know the they got a good scheme. They got a good scheme. You know, it's our first time talking to you since Mike got his extension. You got yours earlier, but we see the smile on your face. How great is it to know that? You two are linked here for the foreseeable future going into the season. Really cool. It's really cool. Uh, anytime anyone on our team, and I'm speaking for myself, I'm also speaking for um, other guys. You know, anytime anyone on our team gets paid and um, is able to change their life and their family's life, it's always something big. You mentioned the, the Jag scheme. What's the process like for you of going in, going up against a defense that has a new coordinator that doesn't have any real tape that you can go off of and study? Yeah. So for me. I study their players that they have, although not the same scheme, just, you know, who's good at covering, you know, who's someone that we think, okay, maybe we have a little more leverage with this guy in coverage. And uh, that's how, you know, I sort of base it off of just watching film on the guys that are on the field. Then you go back, you know, to New Orleans when he when he was the DC to the Falcons we had a joint practice with them last year there were guys that were on the team last year that played you know with him uh, in Atlanta and then there were also some guys that were on the team with him when he was coaching the Saints when he was the DC so uh, you know got a good amount of information that we can collect from a group of guys in the locker room and then just watching tape Go back to Trevor for a second you guys your paths are kind of similar you both are highly touted mm -hmm. come out of high school played at big programs won national championships do you have, are you friends? Do you have a relationship with him? Do you know him at all? Um, I mean, we, we've, we've uh, crossed paths before. Um, you know, I've, I've seen him um, on vacation a couple of times um, in the Bahamas. And so, yeah, like that, that's, that's all I, I can say. And then just, there's just a mutual respect, you know, between us there. So, Do you remember the first time you heard the name Trevor Lawrence? Like when you kind of had an idea that he might be something really big? Um, I mean, they leading up to the national championship. I mean, those, you know, they had to win their game prior. And so, you know, we knew of them. And then in that national championship game, that's where really I think he made a statement in who he was as a player um, and just in general. I mean, that was his freshman year too, him coming in in the national championship game, leading his team. And we had a really good Alabama team too. And, you know, he did what he had to do and they killed us. <laughs> they killed us the way you build up, but what, at what point do you know in camp or as you approach week one that, hey, we're ready for this? We've you know, been a long off season, we put everything in place, and we're ready to go for week one. You want to you wanna think you're ready for anything, but you never know until you go out there. Schematically, we think we know what they're going to do, but until we go out and run our plays and get a feel of, of what they're doing with their run fits, with the back end in coverage, how they're trying to marry both up with each other, you really don't know if, if you are. You just got to go out there, get a feel, and, you know, like I, like I said, like they, they haven't really put on film, you know, as a team what they, what they do and what they do well. So I think it's also for them, they're, they're trying to figure that out as well too. Do I have Mike earlier 
the biggest differences between you from year one to now um, when it comes to preparing for a game. And he mentioned that you're, you've refined your ability to absorb the complex, complex verbiage of the offense and also how to divvy up your time and understanding that. What's been key for you in, in getting to that point? Just continuing to look over the plays, continuing to look over what we're going to do, what we want to do throughout the week. First and second down, that's what you know. we're looking over uh, Tuesday, Tuesday, the day of, and, and then working into the night you know, with third downs on Tuesday. And so that today we're ready for first and second downs, and we're already ahead of the chains. We're getting ready for third downs. And it's the same thing. It's the same process. Like, we don't know what they're going to do. It's just, all right, like, here's plays that we're good at. Let's, let's go and see what they're going to present to us. Let's run it, and then we'll get a feel from there. Third season with McDaniel, you know, your relationship, I'm sure, has evolved immensely. That synergy, you know, you know, better than ever, I'm sure, together on the sideline, how does that help you? Uh, in 2024, how will you foresee it, that the synergy that you have when it comes to, you know, moving that offense? Yeah, I think I'm seeing it a lot better. It's, uh, it's a little clearer um, than it was last year. It's a little clearer than it was the year before and continuing to grow in the offense, continuing to um, – you know, we're, we're trying to continue to, to maneuver through a lot of the minutia that happens within this offense of a lot of guys moving. And uh, I think that's, that's all it is. Um, both me and him have, I think we've both grown uh, together um, and becoming more vocal with each other and then with our guys that we're playing with, that we're out there with. Um, so, you know. So uh, one thing we keep hearing from your teammates is how much more vocal of a leader, vocal of a person you've been this off season. Is that something that you've noticed within yourself? Uh, I would say yes. And I would say no. A lot of the guys know who I am off the field, just on the field. You know, it's just, I guess, coming out now, like that's, yeah, that's, that's just what it is. You know, I guess feeling more comfortable, uh, bringing my own personality onto, onto the playing field. So just to follow up, so like it's mm -hmm. not like a you didn't come into this off season with some like concerted effort. Like I want to be more vocal. I want to make sure I talk more and no. pull my receivers aside. No, no, I, I would just say it's just bringing my own personality into into uh, just playing the game, playing the game of football. That's it. Do you feel approaching your season like you have something more to prove after you've proven so much the last two years? Yeah, I think that's how you you got to come into the season every year. You got to come in with something to prove every time. Everyone else is. The rookies are, um, you know, the 17-year vets are. So, you know, I don't think anyone comes into this season thinking, ah, you know, let me just see if this is going to be a season where I'm healthy, if there's a season where, you know, I could do good, I could be average or whatever. I think everyone wants to be really, really good at, at coming in this first week and trying to uh, sustain that throughout the entire year. You've got a whole offseason that uh, maybe a little bit lower playing weight than you were mm -hmm. last year. How much have you felt your mobility and maybe even your speed increase from where you were last year? Yeah, I, I, I would say it's it's not anywhere near uh, where I was in Alabama. And I and I, I say like I say that with humbleness because I <laughs> I wasn't as fast still in Alabama, but uh, I was able to move a lot quicker um, when I was there. But I think after the hip injury, it kind of kind of did take a toll still on my mobility. But I think I'm a lot better uh, than I was last year and the year prior. So I feel a lot, a lot better. So earlier this week, Tyreek was talking about the excitement level. And I know every year has an excitement, but do you sense, he talked about it being a little different, that you guys feel like you've really evolved as a team and are ready to take that next step. Do you feel that as you're under week one? Yeah, I, I, I do feel that. I say that just because of the practices that we've had, the intensity that we practice with going against our ones and the ones going against us. There's, there's been a lot of, uh, a lot of things that have uh, trickled into the locker room that hadn't happened in years prior. And so I would say that's just the, the feel of, dang, this does feel different. And like we, we got some dogs on the team. What do you think of the way both your careers have taken off? And also, he's another guy that got paid this offseason. Yeah, I mean, congratulations to him and his wife. Um, I think they just had a newborn, so congrats to them on that as well. Um, I mean, when I'm trying to connect both of our journeys, I would say 
definitely two different journeys, two different journeys, that's for sure. Um, you know, but also, you know, there's some similarities in a way, but I think the way he's handled everything that he's gone through uh, there in Jacksonville has been uh, really commendable and it's been really good for him. And uh, as you can see, it's worked out really good. So I'm, I'm very happy for him. That excitement with uh, the offense coming in, and we've talked about it a lot as well with these rookies that have come in as well. Now with camp over and getting ready for that first week, how excited are you about these new additions with Malik and Jalen and things like that? It'll be cool. It'll be cool for them to get their first live reps in a game, and it'll be cool to see how they respond to adversity. Um, everyone on the other side of the ball gets paid too, and you know they know that, and they know they're going to have to bring their A game every time they're in there, and uh, you know just going to have to study up because we got a good amount of stuff that uh, are going in. So. Thank you guys. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.